Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Chad. You're watching Downshift Pass and this is the 2022 BMW X5 S Drive 40i. All right, folks, we're gonna start on the exterior styling of the 2021 BMW X5. And let's just start with this famous BMW Kidney grill. Now, the grill that you see here is actually an active grill. So those shutters that you see there actually open and close depending upon the drive mode that you are in and how you're driving the vehicle to help with the aerodynamics of the car. This car also has the M Sport package, which gives you some nice black exterior bits. So this is a little bit different than if you had the standard X5 and it just gives it a more aggressive stance and also some pretty cool features like adaptive suspension and everything. This particular model is fully loaded. Uh, one of the packages it does have is the executive package. So if you take a look at the headlights here, which BMW calls this Icon Adaptive Full LED Headlights with Laser Light, uh, which basically is just a really cool technology um, that helps you not blind incoming traffic as you are driving down the street. Now, as we come along the side of the vehicle here, my favorite part about this particular model is take a look at these wheels. Now, folks, these are an optional 22 inch wheel that you can get here, of course, painted in black. The front tire is a 275 width. The rear tire is a 315 width, both 22 inch, and both just makes this car look really, really stunning. I mean, it adds so much character to the car. Now, if you take a look at the front brake calipers, those are M Sport specific uh, optional brake calipers. So you get larger, you get a red, painted brake caliper as well as a larger disc, larger rotor, things to help, you know, slow this massive beast down. But of course, with that M Sport package, you do have that shadow line trim that I was telling you about, which is going to give you the black roof rails here. And everything is just basically blacked out on this vehicle. Now, as we move around to the rear, of course, your tail lights are going to be full LED tail lights, turn signals, as well as reverse lights. You have your X5 badging, and then you have your S Drive 40i badging. Now again, S Drive means that this is a rear wheel drive vehicle. If you want it four wheel drive or all wheel drive, it is an option and it'll say X Drive on the back. Now, of course you have your power clamshell here. Just push a button and the top opens. And then if you wanna open the bottom, this is also power operated, which I think is really dope. And once you have the lift gate open, you are greeted with 33.9, so basically 34 cubic feet of cargo volume. Now, if you fold those rear seats down, you do have latches on the seats. If you fold those rear seats down, then it'll expose 72.3 cubic feet of cargo space. And it's very simple to just do that. And believe it or not, taking a look at this area, you can opt for a third row seat in the X5. So if you prefer to have a third row in this, uh, you can. I wouldn't recommend it for children over the age of probably four or five. Uh, you probably have to step up to the, the bigger sibling, the X7, if you really want some space in your third row. Now, if you want to close the clamshell, all you do is push the top button here and they both close, which I absolutely adore that they are both power operated. And as we move on down below, of course, you have a rear diffuser here. And last but not least, you have these blacked out exhaust surrounds. So you can see an exhaust in there, but the surrounds are also black. So I give BMW a pass for that. You can at least still see that exhaust and uh, it looks really good, but let's take a listen to how it sounds. All right, folks, so sound off. Ooh, shit. Hot. All right, folks, so sound off in the comments below. What do you think about the sound of this uh, 2022 BMW X5? Now, keep in mind, it is a V6. So if you loved it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you thought it was just okay, I suggest you hit that subscribe as well as the notification bell so you'll be notified when I post something else that, you know, you might like. All right, folks, and what you just heard is this right here. This is BMW's three liter twin power turbo, not to be confused with a twin turbo engine here, but a twin power turbo inline six cylinder engine. It does have BMW's E-Boost 48 valve MAL hybrid technology. So it kind of delivers a little extra level of power as well as some emphasis on the efficiency of the engine. Now, speaking of power, this powertrain does produce 335 horsepower as well as 331 pound feet of torque. It'll move this big mama from zero to 60 in about 5.3 seconds. That's according to BMW. Feels like it to me though. And it does have an eight speed automatic torque converter uh, transmission. 
Now, of course, you do have launch control with this, paddle shifters, all the good stuff. Fuel consumption is actually a best in class, 21 in the city, 26 on the highway, with a combined mileage of 23 miles per gallon, which is not terrible for the size of this car. All right, folks, and stepping into the interior of the X5, this is BMW's very familiar key here. I love how it has the M colors on the side, but of course you have your unlock. The BMW button has, the BMW logo has always been the lock button. Then of course you have a power tailgate button here that'll open the clamshell. And then of course you have your panic button. Now, if you want to unlock it, just press your unlock or put your hand on the handle. You see your power folding mirrors will open up for you and then you are greeted with, in my opinion, one of the best interiors in the luxury market, especially this particular uh, tester that I have. Now, the exterior color on this car is an optional paint called Black Sapphire Metallic. And this Black Sapphire Metallic paired with this white interior here is just absolutely stunning. But I'm going to go ahead and step inside the BMW X5. It is a very warm day here in Miami. So I'm gonna get it started up and get some air going. Now you do have your start button down here, which is this crystal on the start button as well as on the gear shift, uh, the gear shift lever. So I think that's really beautiful, but we're just gonna start it up. Nice loud BMW tone there. Now this is a 12.7 inch screen and this is also a 12.7 inch screen. So much functionality, so, so much technology in this vehicle. I just absolutely love it. Now starting on the side here, of course you have your power windows, all one touch. And then of course you have your power folding mirrors as well. So you just push that there and it'll fold right up for you. You also have your power tailgate here. The only thing I notice is you do have to pull it and hold it for it to close. If I was to let it go, it would just stop closing. I thought that was a little odd, but of course, I'm sure it's a uh, safety measure that they have there. Of course, you have your memory seat. And this vehicle, like I said, is fully loaded. It has so many different packages. And one of the packages that it has is the luxury interior package, which gives you these buttons here. Now, now the luxury interior package will give you uh, multi-contour seats, massaging seats, as well as ventilated seats, which is all controlled right here. If you push that, it pops up on the screen. So you have your heater and your driver there. Um, and they work pretty well, especially on a nice warm day when the AC is blowing, they work pretty well. Now, your gauge cluster here is pretty customizable, but it's pretty standard. If you were to change the drive modes, right now it's in comfort. That is, this is what it looks like in sport. This is what it looks like in Eco Pro. And then adaptive, this car does have adaptive everything. Um, so you can do that. I usually drive it in sport and see how it revs here. I love how it goes in the opposite direction. Uh, but you see a lot of that on the BMWs nowadays. Like I said, you have your nice paddle shifters here. They definitely aren't metal paddle shifters, although they look like it, uh, but it's a nicer plastic feel. Then of course you have your steering wheel controls here for the radio. And then on the left-hand side is for your cruise control. This car does have adaptive cruise control, of course. Why wouldn't it at $70,000? Now, if we were to stick this car into reverse, this is gonna be your reverse camera system. So it shows on two different sides of the screens. You can turn certain cameras on and off and it's not touch screen which i think is pretty unfortunate for such a large screen it would be great if you could use it on a touch screen you can just pick different sides of the camera that you want to see and it you see it shows a vehicle just like yours actually on the screen to kind of show you exactly where you are so i think that's really neat uh, camera image so you can change the brightness and the contrast the parking aid lines i know this is glaring and it looks like it's flickering but that's actually because it's an led screen so it's just not going to show as crystal clear as i would want it you do have car wash mode 3d view uh this is the 3d view so if i was to let's see put the car in drive here it's actually showing the car moving as i move the wheels will even turn i mean this is really awesome technology Really amazing technology that you have there. Now coming down below, you do have your nice vents and I just appreciate cars that keep it simple. That's all we need here is just simple vents to use. None of that extra stuff that they're doing, trying to do in cars nowadays. Open and close function here. All your climate controls are actually physical buttons. And then coming down below, your radio controls are also physical buttons. You do have your cup holders here, wireless charger, Apple CarPlay, as well as Android Auto. And if you want to close this, you just pull down on it and it'll close right up for you. If you want to open it, there you go. 
And again, back down to this gorgeous gear shift lever here. I mean, this needs a review of its own. I mean, this is truly just like artwork. It's just so gorgeous. You also can see you have it here. This is your iDrive controller. I think iDrive is on the seventh generation now, and it is truly one of the best systems on the market. As soon as you learn how to use it, it really is an amazing, amazing system. Of course, you have your buttons here to like shortcut, but shortcut buttons, home, map, media and it changes this all up here this is how you change your telephone navigation uh, you have different apps that you can add to this uh, uh, system as well so it's really pretty awesome these are going to be your drive modes here you have sport comfort eco pro adaptive and your auto hold function one cool thing about sport is take a look that's sport then you have sport plus and then you have sport individual so you have three different levels of sport mode to choose from because of course it's a bmw of course you have your storage space here in the middle as well as your glove compartment storage here and then on the side you also get those multi contour and massaging seats uh, up top you do have your lights here of course and then a nice large expansive sunroof and I don't know if the camera shows it but it has a neat little design on it as well just to kind of add a little luxurious touch to it all right, folks, now here we are in the back of the 2022 X5. The rear, you do have about 37 inches of leg room, so I have pretty good knee room here, and my feet do slide under, so pretty good space. I love how you have a LED light here. I hope it's showing on the camera, but you do have LED glowy lights that you can change the color to. You have a USB-C port as well, and this is a little space if you want to plug something in so you can have a TV sit right here for the kiddos. Of course, power seats, or excuse me, of course, power mirrors and then you do have your peasant blockers as well um, like I said the sunroof back here makes it feel really expansive I don't think any kid would feel bad sitting back here you don't have to fight over the front seat anymore it's just a really comfortable place this vehicle also has the executive package I know I keep calling package after package this one has all of them so with the executive package you have four zone climate control so the driver can control their temperature passenger can do the same as well and then in the back you do have your heated seats but in the back you can also control your temperature separate of the other passengers so i think that's really amazing and a feature to have if you do have a lot of people riding in your back seat but guys that's pretty much it for the interior of the x5 let's go do my favorite thing let's go for a drive all right folks and setting out here in the 2022 bmw x5 s drive not to be confused with x 40i so s drive again rear wheel drive 40i this is the six cylinder version if you wanted a little bit more power you would have to go for uh either the x5m which is top dog or you can go for the x5m 50i which is pretty much top dog as well i mean those cars are really extremely just almost overpowered fun but overpowered um, now this one i'm driving again has 335 horsepower adaptive suspension paddle shifters launch control you name it this x5 has it it's fully fully loaded and i'll tell you one thing it's really an absolute joy to drive now this one does have the 22 inch wheels which is going to give it a little bit more of a stiffer ride a little bit more affirmed up ride obviously than uh one with a bigger sidewall and I think that's actually why I enjoy it. I don't mind a more uh, sportier ride than a pedestrian ride, especially because it's a BMW, it's rear wheel drive. You might as well just go big or go home and you really don't need the V8 engine to do so. Now, BMW claims this car will do zero to 60 in 5.3 seconds. And I'm in comfort mode. I'm gonna give it some gas here. And I mean, it still puts you back in your seat and that's just in comfort mode. Um, so I'm gonna drive like this for a little bit, see how it feels. Really good road modulation in comfort mode. Um, you definitely feel isolated. The cabin feels isolated from the cabin, but not so much so that you feel like you're just floating along. Now, as we turn into these corners here, this is when this car starts to feel its weight a little bit, especially when you're in comfort mode. It kind of floats you right along through. As you can hear, my camera bag is back there rolling around. 
but it definitely feels up to do the job just you can tell in that you might want to put it in a sportier setting if you're going to be hitting curves but that's really not what this car is about the x5 is a pure cruiser look at that x7 there gorgeous it's a cruiser that will do this when you need it to now gas mileage for this car averages about 23 miles per gallon uh, which is really not bad for the size of the vehicle it's a pretty pretty heavy vehicle especially with all the technology that it has in it all the different luxury features it is heavy it does take premium gas so that is something to think about if uh if you're looking at this car however i think if you're going for this type of vehicle throw gas mileage out the window bmw calls their cars the ultimate driving machine for a reason and you just really got to get behind the wheel and um, drive it now to do launch control in this car there is a little bit of a process now once you figure out how to do it you can do it in two seconds so basically transmission here has to be over that's going to put it in a sport mode trench control you cut that off and you see it's there and basically you just foot on the brake pedal and then completely on the gas when the light turns i'll go ahead and do it down here below you'll see it'll say launch control activated and then you just keep your foot planted and you go so essentially it's going to build up the boost from that turbocharged engine so it's building launch control active here we go Whew. all right <laughs> Wow, the shifts that it, I mean, it's quick. It is quick shifting. And it's not a DSG, it's not a dual clutch. This is your standard torque converter transmission. And it shifts so hard when you uh, engage that launch control. All right, folks, and for my final thoughts of the 2022 X5, this is an amazing automobile. Do I think it's still king of the hill? I'll tell you somebody who has, uh, who should have BMW shaking in their boots, guys, and that's the Koreans out there. Genesis really is uh, doing their thing as far as technology goes, as far as design goes. Now, one thing BMW will always have is, of course, driving dynamics. I mean, they have that in spades, even in comfort mode. So as far as driving dynamics, BMW has it, but there are some uh, folks that are just nipping at their heels, but I'll tell you one thing. If you want something that focuses a lot on performance, but also focuses a lot on efficiency, because you have the mile hybrid system, you have the inline six engine, you have 335 horsepower. It just does everything well. And if you're a parent and safety is one of your biggest concerns, it definitely does that and has that in space as well. So, so it's really just a great overall automobile for really anyone's needs out there. So. I say go ahead and spring for this. If you want a little bit more power, you do have the M50i as well as the X5M, which I would love to get my hands on. But I'll tell you one thing, you will not be disappointed with the S-Drive 40i. Rear-wheel drive BMW, sign me up. So without further ado, guys, I thank you for watching again. I'm going to leave you with a quick little pull. I thank you for watching again. Definitely subscribe if you have not so I can continue to get more cool content like this. So hit that notification bell and leave a comment if you would like. Let me know what you think of the BMW X5. Would you buy this over the GV80? Would you look at the GV80? Would you look at my GV80 video that's coming up? Of course you will. All right, guys, I will see you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.